Hello everyone, today we'll be writing a Python program that will display student's grade when the student's score is being entered. Let's say we are using this as our grading system. This um, looks like a polytechnic grading system. If a student's score is between 75 to 100, it should display A. If the score is between 70 and 74, you should display A, B, and so on and um, so forth. Okay, so what we're going to do now is let's go straight away to launching our Python um, compiler. This is an Anaconda Navigator, so I go straight away to launching my Jupyter uh, Notebook. Okay, let's hold on while it's load. If you're yet to subscribe to this YouTube channel, please do want to subscribe, comment on our uh, videos, um, like them, and also turn on the notification so that you can get um, subsequent um, videos. You can be notified for subsequent videos. Okay, now that we are here, let me just come over here, click on new, click on Python 3, then it will give us an environment um, to write our Python um, code. Okay, now remember we are dealing with score. So I'm going to make use of a variable named score to accept um, um, the student score. So I will say score is equals to input. That is whatsoever is being imputed will be um, stored in variable score. So I want to bring a strange constant here to say please enter your score okay sorry please enter your score then i want to convert our input to an integer okay so i do this then i close my bracket then i begin here to um, make my conditions my conditions using the if else statement in python Okay, I'll say if score, if score, this score here must be the same as this score here. Else, it's not going to, um, the program is not going to work. Because if your name is um, easy and you are being called James, there is no way you're going to answer. So we say if score is greater than or equals to um, the first one was 75 so we say 75 then it should display for us a message saying print what are we printing we are printing our a grade so the grade we're printing is a then we're going to come back here and said else if now else if here is this way in python sorry that was capital letter python um, keywords is not written in capital letter they are all written in small letter so else if score is um, greater than if score is greater than or equals to the next one was um, 70 so what is what should it print for us if score is this if score is this, let it print for us um, an AB as a grade. That was what we said earlier on. Okay, AB will be the grade. Then we go further. We hit the enter key. We said again, else if score, if score is what this time, if score is greater or equals to 65, let it print for us a b now mind you you must follow this indentation to make your program work very well you must follow this indentation if you don't indent your program this way there are some compilers that will flag errors for you make sure you follow this indentation okay then I continue again with my else if, else if score is greater than, else if score is greater than, 
or equals to 60 what should it print for us it should print for us sorry it didn't put this column here it should print for us um it should print for us a bc okay so we have bc let's make that in capital letter bc then we also come here to say if score again if our score again is greater than or equals to greater than or equals to this time we have 55 volume then it should print for us and it prints for us a c okay in bracket in quotation is going to print for us a c then we go again saying else if score is greater than else if score is greater than or equals to um 50 colon then it should print for us a cd okay so cd that was what we said earlier then we go again and say if score is if else if score is greater than or equals to 45 volume then it should print for us should print for us a d d should be in bracket capital letter then we go again and say else if score is greater than or equals to um 40 if score is greater than or equals to 40 if score is greater than or equals to 40 let it print for us an e that was the last grade we okay f was the last grade we had okay and now we're going to say else else it should print for us an f since that is the last condition we are having so it should print for us an f okay so we have f here f okay let's go straight away to running our program to see the output okay we run the program here it says please enter your score let's say we enter 67 as a score and we press enter now it's giving us a b now there is a, a a big question the question is this what if somebody enters more than 100 that means okay what if somebody enters more than 100 that means it's still going to print an a meanwhile the highest you can score is 100 um let's try that let's run the program again we run the program sorry let's run the program again we run the program let's enter score let's say score is 150 we press enter it's giving us an a now normally score should not be more than 100 so let us see what we can do to our code to um um to counter that okay so let's come right here and say if score if score is greater than 100 if score is greater than 100 it should print an error print error print error so we go here error then we come here to say else if score hmm, is greater than or equals to 75 okay let us run our program again i said please enter score let's enter 150 again and press enter you see it's giving us an error then let's um, run the program again 
and enter score let's say score is eight it is time now it's giving us an a so i believe that um, you have seen the program how a program that will accept a student score and print the student grade please if you like this video do well to comment on the comment section um follow our page by by subscribing and turn on the notification bell so that you can get notifications for subsequent videos thank you for watching and do have a nice day